need are some recycled bottle caps, paintbrush, some acrylic paint and Mod Podge spray, glitter glue, the top to a mason jar, or you can use anything that you have laying around that's similar, um, top to a Pringles can, anything like that. I have some thinner rope here. And also I have some thicker rope as well. And then I'm going to use a hot glue To start bag. off, I'm going to just start painting our caps. I'm going to paint the top and all the way around the sides. I'm just going to be using different shades of teal and green. And you guys can use whatever color scheme that you want. I'm just going to start painting. I'll leave a list of all of the paint colors I use below in case you like um, my colors. And you're gonna have to do a couple coats on them. They're not all gonna. Um, they're not gonna be covered in one coat. Just want to paint the tops and the sides and make sure that they're completely covered. And then we'll come back for our okay, next Okay, so step. now that all of my bottle caps have dried, I'm going to take some glitter glue. I'm going to use this light blue and this dark blue. And I'm going to put some glitter on just a few of the bottle caps just so that you catch a little sparkle um, in the wind whenever, you know, your wind hits your chime. So... Gonna take it and squirt it onto there and just kind of squish it around so it's to spread the sparkle out. Um, just want to be careful because I do see that it's like marking up the paint a little bit if you scrape it with the topper. Okay, so I'll let those dry completely and we will come back to spray them with our Mod Podge sealer and then we'll be ready to assemble our wind chime. we have our bottle caps all painted and the glitter has dried. We're going to go outside and spray with our Mod Podge spray. You can do a gloss finish, a matte finish. This is just going to seal in the paint and the glitter and make sure that when it's outside hitting things, um, the paint isn't chipping off. Um, and you do want to do this outside because this has a lot of strong fumes um, that, you know, can really irritate your skin and your eyes. So you want to make sure you do it outside and wear a mask if you're really sensitive to those things. I'm going to go outside and spray these and let them dry for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then we'll come back and assemble our little wind chime. So we want to start and assemble our wind chime. I went ahead and turned on the hot glue gun so we can get our glue nice and ready. So I'm going to cut a piece of our thicker string. So that's going to be the top that hangs our wind chime. Just want to make sure you have enough space to hang it onto a hook. And that looks good. Uh, might do a little bit more just to have a little bit longer. And cut that. And your ends are going to be a little frayed. You can choose to burn them with a lighter if you want. Or you can just glue them on because the hot glue gun will keep them all together. Okay, and then we're just going to glue each side onto our mason jar lid here. that sit and harden and then you can go ahead and glue these frays down I'm just gonna leave it no it doesn't bother me that much but if it bothers you go ahead and glue that down and bring this try to make it as even as possible
Okay, so let's set that in there. Okay, and we're gonna set that aside and let that harden and make sure it's nice and dry before you know we go ahead and hang our wind chime. So now I'm gonna start assembling the actual chimes onto our thinner rope. So here's my beginning. I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, it's fraying out. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut different lengths. Um, and then I'm just going to put some bottle caps on them. I'm gonna make some taller and some shorter. I mean, longer and shorter. Um, and you can cut them however you would like. I'm gonna do, I think, about five strands because um, the mason jar is small. I don't wanna overcrowd it. And I'm just going random lengths here. I think that gives you your best look. Okay. So now that I've cut out my five strings, I'm going to take just one to start with. And remember that this is going to be glued in to the top of our mason jar. So we don't want to start at the very top with our bottle caps, you want to come down a little bit further. And what I'm going to do is kind of try to glue this into the bottle cap so that the string is sitting into the cap like this, just to make sure that it has better staying power. So, let me grab some more glue. I'm just going to go ahead and do a line right down the center of our bottle cap. And I'm just going to pop the string in there. Just be careful because the glue does get hot in there. Don't burn yourself. You could do this with a sh with a sharp object or just a flat object just to make sure the string gets in there. And then I'm just picking these off the plate at random. And you can just take all your strings and peel them away all your little hot glue strings and I'm just gonna randomly choose my pieces for this now you can tuck this end into the bottle cap but I'm gonna leave it hanging just because I think it's cute um, if I don't like the way it looks once I assemble the wind chime, of course you can always cut it off or anything like that. So I'm going to set that piece aside and work on my next one. If you end up not having enough bottle caps, just go ahead and paint some more and, you know, do the same process over like we did. Okay, now that you've finished all your little strings, you want to let all of the hot glue harden completely before we assemble our wind chime. Okay, so now that I've peeled all my little glue strings away and have um, let all of the glue harden, I'm going to take our little topper that we had previously worked on and I'm going to start assembling our wind chime. So I'm going to be placing the inner part of this string into the lid here like this. I'm just going to glue, put a strip of glue down like we did with the um, bottle caps and just stick our string in there and make sure it's nice and set into the glue and I'm just going to repeat that for all of our strands if you feel like your glue or your string frays a little bit you can just dab some glue on top of it no one's gonna see inside of here so it won't matter leaving um, in between each one a couple seconds to make sure it dries. Hot glue doesn't take that long, so. All right, and once that all of that hardens completely, you can just remove all your little hot glue strings, and then you are finished. You can hang your project and let it sit outside in the wind and hear the beautiful noise that it makes. 
So just let it all harden and then I will show you guys our finished product. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.